So before we start getting the pistons into the bores, we want to lubricate the journals on the rods, um, just like what we did on the, for the mains. We'll lubricate the rod journals and the rod bearings themselves. So now that we're going to start uh, installing these pistons, um, this is a bit of a slow, tedious process here. And what we're going to do, we'll start with number eight. You want to double check that everything is right. You lubricated your wrist pins well. Everything looks right. Your rings haven't moved. They're clocked and set the way you wanted them. And then we'll remove the cap. We've already lubricated the journal with assembly lube. Now we're going to do the same on the rod bearing. And we've already installed some ARP lube on the uh, ARP 2000 rod bolts. So those are already lubed up. We're good there. Next step, we'll take it. Valve relief's pointing up. We'll take this. And we're just going to get some oil on the rag there. And what we're trying to do is get oil in on those piston rings to help lubricate those. It eases installation, makes it a lot easier. Uh, and it also helps if the motor is going to be sitting for a while. You want to have a little bit of oil on that surface so there's not so much friction. So we're just going to want to make sure there's a healthy dose of oil on the rings. You don't need it on the top or on the sides here. The skirt is nice to have some oil on it as well. And then I'm just going to move the rings around a little bit just to make sure it gets into those grooves there. We'll take the piston ring compressor, sit it in there. Got to be gentle with it, and okay. So then we come over to here. You make sure your journal is on the bottom end of the stroke. You don't want to be at top dead center. You want to be at the bottom dead center. So we'll go ahead, slide that in. You're also always making sure that this little chamfer here is always facing out of the journal. So on this side, it's going to be facing that way. On this bank, it's going to be facing the other direction. So on this one, just go in like that. Fit it in. You don't want to be aggressive. You just want to let it slide in, find its place. And then you want to, as best you can, make these valve reliefs here perpendicular. You're just going to seat the ring compressor. And it's in. So now we just bring it down. You just want to incrementally torque it. You don't want to go all the way on one of them and not the other. Ease into it on both. And we'll leave that there for now. We'll start assembling all eight of them, and then we'll go back and torque all of them together. All right, so now that we have all the pistons in, we got to torque them down. And one thing you always want to look at is, we'll measure it with a feeler gauge, but you want to make sure you have that side-to-side -side movement on these connecting rods. So we'll bring it up. Same thing with these. You want to incrementally torque these down. The final torque is 82 foot-pounds. So we're just going to take them to about 25. Do 40. So now that we've got them all, uh, all the rod bolts torqued up, we're just going to start torque striping them. Again, our sanity check that everything was done and done correctly. So now that they're all torqued, we just want to check what our gap is here, making sure we have sufficient clearance for the two when they're rocking together. So, so we've got about 22 thousandths, which is right about where we want to be. 